Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. It's nice to see you and it's nice to be back here shaving again and I am smiling today because the sun is shining right here in Scotland. Um, is that a rare thing? Not too rare, but um, it's just nice. It's a nice day here today. It's not too cold uh, and I hope wherever you are in the world, the sun is shining too. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, let's uh, see what we're using today. Uh, everything today I have been sent over the last kind of year, year and a half um, from Nancy and Howie at Super Safety Razors. So uh, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you very much to Nancy and Howie. Uh, I'm very lucky to be sent some of these things from um, vendors and stuff just wanting me to test it out and uh, review it on my YouTube channel. Um, I really appreciate it. I, I never ask for anything, but um, people contact me and want to want to send me stuff. So I'm always happy to review to show everyone else uh, their products. So Nancy and Howie have sent me this kind of over the last sort of year, year and a half. I've had a few things from them, so I just wanted to to show some of these things off. So the razor today is the Parker. 76R. This is a twist to open razor. You twist the bottom like that and the doors open. Uh, and inside that I have a Treat, brand new Treat Platinum Super Stainless. Now, is this a platinum blade or is it a super stainless blade? Um, I'm not exactly sure what happens with that. There's the blade there. Treat Platinum Super Stainless. Uh, and it's the same on that side. There's the razor. You put the blade over that bar in the middle, twist the bottom and the doors close. This is a nice knurling on this, you can see that there. Yeah, nice length of the handle, good weight and there's the head. There's a little bit overhand, which you should be careful about. But very nice, a nice razor. Uh, there's the wrapper for the blade and it's double wrapped, which I like. And there is the box. Um, the brush for today is the Parker Synthetic. Uh, so this is a, just a black, black hair, black knot. It's not a tuxedo or anything. It's just, um, I think it's their own, but it's, it's got a good backbone. It's very soft. Uh, and this handle here, as you can see, very nice. And there's, it's got a great weight to it, this brush. Really quite heavy for such a little brush. So I'm going to be using that today. I'm going to be bow lathering in this Parker mug, which has this uh, handle here for holding like that, a secure grip. Um, and I'm going to be using this. This is the, the most recent thing that they sent me to, to review. And I, I've done a test lather with this Taconic Shave Shave Cream Lavender and Lime. Uh, this is a concentrated cream. Um, comes in this pump bottle, very nice. Um, I'll let you guys have a read there. You can pause that. So it says here uh, about a nickel, a size of a nickel. Pump a nickel sized amount of shave cream onto fingertips, add water and massage onto wet shave area and turtle that other, or use a brush. Uh, add a nickel size to a brush. So uh, I'm going to be using this today. I'll show you the ingredients. You guys can pause that and have a look. So uh, that's what I'm going to be using. I did a test ladder with this and it's incredible the amount of cream you get from the amount of product. So what I want to do now is I want to take the camera that's here, uh, I want to place it on the sink and I will do the bowl lather, uh, well mug, Parker mug, I will do it in that and uh, let you guys see uh, just how much lather it creates from uh, so, so little cream. So I'll go and do that right now, I'll move the camera and uh, we'll get going. Okay here's the Parker mug, uh, as you can see it's empty. So I'll get the cream and I will put in one pump like that. Okay, 
so as you can see that there, there's not very much cream. Um, <laughs> as you know, I like uh, I like a lot of cream when I, uh, I do my shave, so the scent of this is very nice. So what I'll do now is, I'll get the brush, there's a lot of water in the sink, I'll just flick the brush out, and then we shall start lathering. So I'll just add a little bit of water. There's no ridges in this uh, mug, so let me just uh, turn this around so I can hold it with this thing that I'm meant to hold it with. But, uh, as you can see, it's... Uh... <laughs> okay, a little bit more water. Just about five or six drops there. Scents really start to come out now of the lavender and lime. Look at this cream. Look at the brush. How's that looking? Uh, I got a little bit more water. Good. Look how much cream there is there. A little bit more water. I want to get a shine on the lather. If you just keep working this, <laughs> it just seems to be uh, expanding in volume the more water I add to it. Um, quite a thirsty cream, which is good. I like that. Look, it's uh, it's spilled out into the into the water here. That was a little bit more water there. And uh, look at that cream. Very nice. Look how much cream's in that mug. Okay, I'll uh, I'll go and move the camera back now, and uh, I'll just uh, put the rest of the lather on my face. So I will uh, see you in a moment or two. Okay, we're back, and uh, here's the mug with <laughs> with all the cream inside it. So um, let's just uh, <coughs> start lathering that up. I'm just going to wet my face and then we shall get going. Yeah, this is a nice scent, two of my favourite scents, lavender and lime combined. Uh, there's what's left for the uh, subsequent passes. Flying all over. Yeah, if you wanted uh, more cream, just add more pumps to it. Uh, this is a uh, this is just from one pump because it is concentrated. I'm just going to dip the tips of the brush. Just to. Uh, Again, just to get a little shine on this. When you're making lather, don't be afraid to add water because it's the water that gives uh, the soap or the cream its uh, slickness. That's why it's called wet shaving. Looks good. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Nice lather. Nice scent. And we shall see how it performs. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I think Taconic Shave Super Safety Razors, I think they do these creams in most of their scents. So I'll put the link to their website. And you can go and take a look. Okay, let's go with the uh, Parker 76R and the treat blade. And 
you can uh, you can hear the feedback on that. How y'all doing? I hope you're all having uh, some great shaves, and I hope you're keeping well. Yeah, that's the thing with these Parker razors, uh, especially the twist to open ones. When you're shaving, you really hear the the sound of the metal um, against your stubble, especially on the first pass. I like it. He's, uh, he's walking about there. The Parker razors are, I've said this before, they're very underrated in my opinion. Um, they're very good value for money and they give you a great shave. And there's lots of them to choose from. Okay. First pass done, nice slickness. Okay, let me rinse, I will come straight back. Okay, nicely rinsed off. Yeah, I know, I still, uh, I need a haircut. It's, uh, it's a bit wild, look at that. <laughs> okay, let's uh, lather up for pass number two. Still um, plenty of cream in this brush. Where did that go? <laughs> it went on the wall. I better remember to take that off or Mrs. Kevy will be saying, what's that on the wall? Oh no, more shaving cream. Just getting some more cream from the mug. painting it on for the uh, second pass and as you can see it is quite wet but um, I maybe added a little bit too much water but it definitely is uh, usable it's got a nice shine to it and we'll crack on pass number two against, uh, against the green across the growth the Parker 76R. And uh, some sad news in the world of in the world of YouTube wet shaving. Um, I was reading on a forum I can't remember what one it was. One of the American ones, I think. That um, Busta. Busta has uh, stopped. He's not going to be making any more shaving videos. And I caught myself yet. Yeah. For those of you that don't know who Busta is, uh, Busta is, um, his name's Michael Busta, Bustamante. He was, uh, 
when I first started wet shaving, about two and a half, three years ago now, uh, Buster was one of the guys that was putting out videos continuously, along with them, um, Nick Shaves, Christopher David Bailey, Geo Fat Boy, uh, people like that, Stallion. And uh, their content was fantastic. Buster's was really good. Some of his videos were uh, excellent. He would do reviews and stuff like that. Of uh, different soaps, razors, brushes and stuff. But um, he's decided to call time on his uh, wet shaving videos. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know. Uh, I think he's selling off most of his gear too, so that's a shame, but um, yeah, some great videos he had. I don't know if he's even leaving them up on YouTube. Um, I'm not sure, I'll have to have a look. Um, I might put, I'll have a look if his channel's still there, I'll put a link to his videos and you can go and check him out, because uh, Buster's a great guy. Okay, pass number two done, nice slickness. Uh, let me just rinse, I will come straight back. Okay, that looks like I've just caught my Adam's apple there maybe. A little bit there, but that's okay. Back for the third pass. Still plenty of cream left. Just uh, giving it a little mix in the mug there. Painting it on here. It's a lovely scent, uh, lavender and lime, really nice. Okay, here we go again. Okay. 76R against the green. I've um I haven't forgotten about the uh the giveaway for 4,000 subscribers. Everything's uh, in place. I just, <laughs> I just need to find time to actually do the video. Yeah, a little weeper there. But I will find the time. in the next uh, few weeks, hopefully. In the next week or two, I'll... Uh... Great audio feedback from this razor. Yeah, look, I just uh, caught my Adam's apple. Not done that for a while. <laughs> and yeah. So it always seems to be, I always catch my Adam's apple on right in that little kind of laugh line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll announce the giveaway. This is a comfortable shave using this razor. It's uh, quite a mild razor. Easy to use. Yeah, it's uh, easy to find the angle. Okay, let's uh, let's test the slickness out here. I'll just wet the face.
yeah, it's slick. Okay, um, pickups, well, not much, a little bit there, usual spots on the neck, and the chin. Feels good. Clink, clink, clink. Someone asked uh, in the comments, he noticed that um, I always used to talk about this little trouble spot here, and whenever I shaved with the grain, uh, it would always kind of break out, which is where it broke out when I was um, using cartridge razors. And I always used to go this way. And uh, but just lately, I think my skin's improved, and I've been trying just to do it very gently, just to go like that with the grain. And if you're new to this way of shaving, you will notice that your skin, over time, um, is not going to take like a, a few weeks. But if you continue using good products on your skin good soaps and good preparation before the shave, uh, good soaps and creams and just look after it, it will improve. Things has definitely gotten, gotten better but Wet it. It's got it. No, I'm going to tiny little bit there. And that's called um, buffing, where you just go over the little spot that you've missed quickly with the razor, but no pressure at all. Lovely. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you how much cream is left in here from <laughs> from one pump from that um, container. I'll just take what's left. Uh, as you can see, look, nice peaks. Very nice. Okay, I'll rub this into my face. Little face wash. I leave this on while I'm cleaning up the brush and razor and stuff like that and then I'll be back for the post shave. Mmm, lavender lime, beautiful. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, <clears throat> back for the post. Nice shave. Skin feels nice. Very good. No witch hazel today, I'm going to be using the Conic Shave Lavender and Lime Aftershave Splash uh, and this has um, aloe vera infused with witch hazel on there um, if you can see that have a look at the ingredients this is um, good stuff yeah lavender and lime cools, soothes, refreshes, nourishes very nice just a little splash of that it has a nice uh, restrictor in it too Oh, what the hell. Go for it. <laughs> no sting from that whatsoever. But um, I'm not sure if there's alcohol in it. I take it there isn't because they've, they were able to ship it to me. Wow. That's a nice scent. There's a bit of menthol in that as well. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, I can feel the menthol now. Um, my skin is going uh, cold, which is nice. But it's a beautiful scent. 
Yeah, the lavender and lime combined is really nice. Okay, uh, the balm I'm going to use, again, Taconic Shave Aftershave Balm, unscented. Uh, this comes in this little pump bottle. Four squirts. I think I've used too much. <laughs> that was only four pumps of that. Oh, what the hell? Just rub it in. As I've said before, I'm a wet shaving product whore. Ah, lovely. No scent from that, so you can still smell the lavender and lime. Oh, beautiful. Very nice. And there we have it, ladies and gents, boys and girls, hamburgers and cheeseburgers. What? <laughs> A nice shave. Yeah, I just caught my Adam's apple, so it's uh, because I've been kind of rubbing it and stuff with uh, putting the balm and that on, it's uh, flared up. I'm not worried about it. Very nice shave. Okay, let's go over what we've used again today. The razor for today shaves, all, all things um, from uh, Taconic Shave, that's Super Safety Razors. I'll put the link to the website in the description. Uh, the Parker 76R. This is a twist to open and inside that was a treat. Brand new Platinum Super Stainless. Very good blade, good razor, nice weight, nice knurling on the handle. No issues. Uh, just a good, a good razor. Just a good razor. Nice length in the handle. I like the length of the handle, which is uh, a little bit longer. You can just put your pinky there. Uh, the brush for today, the Parker synthetic with the black black synthetic hair knot. Uh, this lovely handle and uh, as a metal base, and it's very heavy, very good. The cream. For today, cream, the new Taconic Shave Shave Cream Lavender Lime. One pump of that. Uh, this is concentrated, so one pump from this was enough to do three passes, touch ups, and have a little face wash with it. So, yeah, really good. Um, Nancy did say to experiment with the amount of water. I maybe added a little bit too much water for one pump, but um, it done the job, as you can see. Yeah, um, very happy with it, but it's a, it's a nice cream, very slick, very good. Uh, we then rinsed off with hot and cold water, uh, applied some of the Lavender Lime Aftershave Splash and finished it off with Taconic Shave Aftershave Balm Unscented. And there we have it ladies and gents, the thing, I've said this before, the thing about these um, Taconic Shave and the Parker razors and, and stuff like that, um, they just work, you know, there's no kind of fancy bells and whistles on them and stuff like that and, but they just work and they're just good products, they're just <laughs> solid, solid <laughs> products. Um, that's what I like about them. I'm just uh, giving that a little wipe. Yeah, that's what I like about them, they're just, they're workhorses, they just work and they're very good, uh, good value for money, so that's my take on it anyway. Um, okay, that's all for me for today. I'm just having a look to see if I've missed anything out, but uh, I don't think I have. So um, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for all the comments. Uh, as I say, I'll be doing the giveaway video. I'm not sure when. I might not even announce it. I might just do it in the middle of a shave. So um, it might just be the regular viewers who see that. It's, uh, it's going to be a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, I might not. <laughs> okay, that's all for me for today. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Uh, enjoy it and uh, have some great shaves. And until the next time, see you soon. Take care.